Hi, in today's tutorial, we are going to go through IGCSC 0580 past paper 2 questions on indices and exponents. Indices 1 A. Find the value of n when 5 to the power of n is equal to 1 over 125. This is called the base and this is called the indice or the power. Whatever number you have, try to make it to the power of 5. Whatever the base is given to you, you should try to make it to that power. You can check in the calculator and you will get 5 to the power of n is equal to 1 over 5 to the power of 3. There is one very important indice rule that you should know. If the power is in the denominator and you bring it up, the signs will change. So the power of 3, we will write it as negative. 5 to the power of negative 3. Also, if your base is same, they get cancelled out. So now we are left with n is equal to negative 3. In B, we have been asked to simplify this. We have got 64 over m cube bracket to the power of negative 1 over 3. Whenever you have to the power of a negative number, you want to make this power positive. Whatever is inside the bracket, we will flip it over. So the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will become the denominator. So we can write it as m to the power of 3 over 64 bracket 1 to the power of 3. This power is for m and for 64. m to the power of 3 bracket 1 to the power of 3 over 64 1 to the power of 3. If the powers are in the bracket and outside we multiply the powers. So 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 will give us 1. So m to the power of 1, which we write as m, and 64 to the power of 1 third, you can put it in the calculator, you will get 4. So the answer is m over 4. Moving on to the next question. Question number 2. Simplify 16x to the power of 16, 3 over 4. Like I said before, this power is for 16 and for x. Therefore, we can write it as 16 to the power of 3 over 4 and x to the power of 16 times 3 over 4. When you put the number in the calculator, you will get 8. 16 times 3 over 4 will give you 12. Moving on to the part B, we have 2, p to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 54. Find the value of p. You should always remove the numbers before the base or whatever the number with the power is there. If it's a plus or minus, everything has to be moved to the other side. So this is 2 multiply. When I bring to the other side, it will be divide. So P 3 over 2 is equal to 27. If I want to make P the subject, the power when I give to the other side will become 2 over 3. So we flip the power. And when you put this in the calculator, you will get 9. P is equal to 9. Question number 3. 81x is equal to 3. Find the value of x. In this question, again, our base is 3. So see, 3 to the power of what will give you 81? You will get 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. And the x is outside the bracket. This is equal to 3. So we can multiply the powers. We'll get 3 to the power of 4x is equal to, if there's no power here on 3, it means it is equal to 3 to the power of 1. Because the base is same, they get cancelled. 
So we get 4x is equal to 1. This is multiply when I bring it to the other side. It will become divide. x is equal to 1 over 4. Next question. 3 to the power of negative q multiplied by 1 over 27 is equal to 81. Find the value of q. Remember what I had told you that there should be no number where uh, we have to find the variable. Everything has to be moved to the other side. So let's begin. 3 to the power of negative q is equal to 81. This here is a multiply. So when I bring to the other side, it will become divide. This will give us 3 to the power of negative q is equal to 2187. Therefore, 3 to the power of negative q is equal to 3 to the power of 7. In place of the power put different power and check till you get 2187. Now that the base is same, they get cancelled. Therefore, negative q is equal to 7. We cannot have the variable as a negative. Therefore, we will write it as q is equal to negative 7. We give the negative to the number. The next question write 27x12 to the bracket 1 over 3 in its simplest form. We will write 27 to the power of 1 over 3 and x to the power of 12 bracket 1 over 3. This will give us 3. And the powers when you multiply 12 multiplied by 1 over 3 will give you 4. So that was a very easy question. Question number 6a. Simplify 3125t to the power of 125 bracket closed to the power of 1 over 5. This question is very similar to the one which we did before. So we will write 3125 to the power of 1 over 5 and t125 bracket closed to the power of 1 over 5. When you put this in the calculator, you will get 5 and 125 multiplied by 1 over 5 will give you 25. So the answer is 5 t to the power of 25. In B, find the value of B when 3 to the power of B is equal to 1 over 9. So let's write 9 as a power of 3. That will be 3 to the power of 2. When you bring the power up, it will become negative. The base is same, so it will get cancelled. And P is equal to negative 2. In part C, find the value of W when x to the power of 72 divided by x to the power of W is equal to x to the power of 8. Here we can see that all the base are same. If it's a divide, it means we subtract. Because the base is same, I can write it 72 minus w is equal to x to the power of 8. The base gets cancelled. So 72 minus w is equal to 8. I want to find w. I'll bring it to the other side and the 8 here. 64 is the answer. So in the next question we have 2 to the power of p is equal to 1 over 8 to the power of 4. I hope you have understood till now that because the base is 2, I have to write 8 as a power of 2. So we can write 2 to the power of p is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 3. And the 4 is already there. This will give us 2 to the power of p is equal to 1. 2 to the power of 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Now we will bring the power up. It will become negative. 2 to the power of negative 12. The base gets cancelled and we will get p is equal to negative 12. Question number 8. Simplify. 
For this question, we will write half to the power of 3 and x2 to the power of 3 bracket 3. Put this in the calculator and you will get 1 over 8 and the powers multiply by each other will get cancelled. So we'll have x to the power of 2. This is our answer. Kindly subscribe and like my channel and share it with your friends. Please check the playlist in my channel. I have put up a lot of uh, past paper questions plus solved past papers. And I'll be doing that on a regular basis. Thank you for watching.